friends, welcome back. Smore here bringing you some more Skyrim Special Edition. This is episode three, and in this episode, we're going to work on getting the Thirsk Hall back. We have to help the chieftain of the hall apparently get a blessing. And so I've jumped as close as we can, but we've got a little bit of a run, so let's get to it. All right. We don't have a follower, because Fandel died. And this should be interesting. <laughs> uh, a little nervous, but I'm hoping this goes okay for us. I think we just run up. What's that? What is that? Uh, it's over there. I guess that's what's important for now. And I hope this lady can't die, because if she can, it's going to get rough. Okay. Not too bad. Let's make sure our flanks are clear. What is that doing with no clothes on? That's got to be so cold. Alright. Oh. Well, hello, boss chess. And all the other bad guys I just pulled. Not really that good, though. Um... If it's just bandits and one-on-one, -on -one, we should be okay. I think. Very bloody. I don't think that's good. Oh, they're freaking werebears. Are you kidding me? Aw, oh, poor snow fox. <gasps> We're dead. We're going to get owned. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was just metal. Oh, my gosh. We just got shredded. Okay. I did not see that coming. And shame on me. I will cease. I knew of the werebears. I did not realize that's what they were. So when you see naked guys running around, you know that they are out to get you, I guess, is, is what I learned. Oh, it's actually past the werebear death station. So we're going to skip the boss chest because you can't actually get back up from there. And we're going to try and skirt that because there's just no way I'm going to be able to defeat that right now. Wow, guys, check it out. How cool is that? Awfully pretty. Also, good to know there's freaking werebears running around ready to eat your face off. And, guys, it might just be that, that I am in the DLC at too low of a level, not quite set up correctly. That could totally be. Um... What's over here? Let's get this uh, POI. Could be a handy jump to spot later. All right, so there's Mosering Pass. Yikes, run away. I heard that. Shoot stuff at me. All right. Jump up. Oh, no, no, no. What is that? What is that? Oh, my gosh. What the hell is that? Oh, that is terrifying. There is a huge freaking bear or something over there. I'm just trying to make it up the cliff face so I can skirt around. Because it's just, I think, right over there. I can just kind of mash buttons to get up the side. Oh, we're so close. There we go. Come on. Come on. Don't get stuck in there. All right. We are quick saved. What is... Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Eh. You see nothing. So we're very close. I think it's just right over there. Let's go, brah. 
Good kitty. Good kitty. Nope, bad kitty. Yep, that's not gonna happen. So when we die, we'll restart and we will just run. Run away! All of this just so we can get... Ugh. Okay, hopefully this cat doesn't follow us in. It might. Hopefully the lady follows us in. Yikes. Here, let's just wait just a moment here. Um, let's get the health back. Okay. Excellent. Let's go talk to the lady outside. Are you ready to go inside? Yes, I'm ready to go inside. All right. The burial place of Rothmund, who founded Thursk. He brought a group of true warriors away from the soft life of the skull to know the wilderness, to feel the sting of cold and of steel. I know that sounds a little silly. It's just the way it's written in the books, and that phrase has always stuck with me. It's pretty simple. Rothmund's axe is in there with him. Anyone who attempts to take hold of it has their spirit judged by Rothmund himself. No, no, nothing like that. Mm. He doesn't need to battle us to know us. He's always watched over Thursk and sees us from beyond. And in my case, since he's already deemed me worthy, it will just be a matter of him remembering why he blessed me before. Really, all you need to do is watch. Let's not waste any time. There's no way it's going to be that simple. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Excellent. We'll take these. Oh, and we'll also take... We'll mine this real quick. So let's see. The gold ore, guys, we will use to make necklaces with. And I believe the higher value items, the more the smithing skill is increased. And the fly Amanita cap, I hope that makes like a restore health, a restore health potion of some sort. Let's see, we saved when we came in, so we don't have to quick save or chicken save again. Anything else to mine in here? No? Okay, we're good. Let's go. And as always, guys, we're going to be taking our time. We're going to go through this thing slowly and hopefully easily enough that you guys see that's where we'll pop out from. Oh, hello. Dude, you should not stand with your back to doors like that. That is wicked dangerous what in this game. What are you game. doing that for? I don't know. This must be where we'll pop out. Hanging moss? Gather? Nope, just a decal. That's okay. Huh. Well, I'm a little torn on which way to go. Chicken save, and let's go. Alright, so this looks like an interesting after tunnel. Or, I, I don't know. After tunnel is not the right word, but. I smell trap. Alright. Oh, well, hello, Silver Ore Vein. We'll take this. We'll stop being sneaky and we'll <laughs> grab this Ore Vein. And make a whole bunch of noise. But that's okay. Alright. Oh, well, hello, Garnet. Is this thing trapped at all? Because this was too easy to get to a... Really? To get to a chest. Well, I'm glad that we found the little secrets. That way you guys can see it too. Another scroll of mass paralysis. Which for us is pretty useful really. So nothing on the floor that's going to light us up. Can we fall down into this area? No? Huh. I'm trying to recall if this was in Morrowind. I don't think so. 
Well, we found a cool little side area. Can't yank on that at all. It's just kind of awesome looking. Chicken save. Still sneaky. Opening the door. Let her go first. Ooh, maybe scripted event. Oh, it's so flooded. Looking for any more of the pull chains or anything? Those are kind of cool looking. They don't do much, but that's okay. All right. There we go. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Awesome. Very nice, Skyrim. Very nice. Now, where's all the terrible stuff that's going to jump out and eat our faces like werebears? Stop. Stop. So one of the hangups I'm noticing with this unarmed build is like, no matter what, you're going to take punches to the face. And it's kind of hard on your potion and food supply. Can I go in here? No. Not a whole lot in here. Oh yeah, no, we're not going to have to fight him at all. She said. This will be easy. He'll just judge us again. She said. There is no way this is going to be this kind to us. This. Yeah, I see it. This. Oh, I wish you hadn't done that. Oh, well, hello. Before you do something stupid, lady. You seem so very over eager. You seek my blessing for the leadership of Thirsk Hall? I do. It is I, Bujond. You blessed me in the past, and now I've rid the Hall of Reeklings and returned it to its rightful owners. And well it is that this has happened. But I have always watched and know that it was your softness that led to your own exile. Sick burn. You no, allowed your fellow I... warriors to grow weak while the dangers around you mounted. Oh, saw this coming. Then, the leadership is not mine? No. Nor is there any among you fit to serve. For a band in the wilderness, it is better to have no leader than a poor one. That was a little embarrassing. What are you going to do the now? The only thing I can do. I need to return to Thursk. No matter what Rothman says, we need a leader. And I'm still the best person for that. Mm, that doesn't seem like a good idea. And look what's happened to us so far under his watchful eye. <gasps> he gave his blessing to all the leaders who brought us to this point. Anyway, he's dead and we're alive. It's time to begin a new tradition for Thursk. And I'm going to do that. All I need is for you to back me up. You don't even need to lie. Just don't tell anyone else what you heard here. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, guys, I don't know what to do. What would Khajiit do? Khajiit would keep secret and try and maybe extort or blackmail, sensing an opportunity to make some coin. Or moon sugar. Good. See that you do. Now, if you'll excuse me... I have a hole to lead. It's pretty. I don't know how functional it would be missing that right there, that part right there, but... I don't even want to go back down there, guys. <laughs> well, that was dis... Nothing in this game has ever been that easy. All right, game. If you say so, uh, we'll let her catch up. Not no big deal. See, well, I guess it's not really a door, though, is it? Nothing there. Nothing there. So maybe that's not really a door. Well, we got some ores out of it. We got uh, just a few mushrooms out of it. 
trying to see if I'm missing anything else. I don't think so. Here we go, guys. That was a harder decision to make than I would have thought. That's going to take us back to the hall, I'd imagine. Uh, that custom destination is just us. Uh, world map, please. Oh. Oh, I still have to grab that net jelly. Huh. Well, let's just jump back there then, and we'll see if she follows us. Because I really want the, the heavy armor trainer. Like, I really need that. Looks like they clean. Aw. Oh, I'm afraid to go to that guy. Yoink. All right, let's see how it turned out, guys. But Jolt says you served well. Before we were married, I was her second on the first trip to the Barrow. Brothman knows strength in this world and the next. <sighs> okay. Oh. Yes, I remember how I felt being there with her the first time, before we were wed. I hope to see you more around the hall, friend. Our relationships are based on a lie that I doesn't seem good. most of the good. travelers that come through here. Getting a little antsy. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Awesome. I think we can ding. That would be fantastic. Awesome. Oh, that is good. All right, then. All right, then. That is very good, guys. All right, so what we're going to do is find the heavy armor. Uh, right here. Do their armor rating. So I think Deidre Gauntlet's fortified with uh, extra unarmed damage is probably the best slot to, or best equipment to put in the uh, hand slot there. But that's what we want, and we have one more still. What's this guy say? And we're going to be doing that, guys. Fantastic. So that's a big Quick. DPS boost. I won't be here much longer. And it is a large. You're planning on sticking around for a while? Think about well, ways to make yourself you useful. Need. Most of the old brew is still good, but I had to get rid of some of the newer batch. What did they I, um, do to it? Hands. Just trust me, you don't want to drink it. Oh, that's metal. It's good to have trustworthy souls in this place. Well, not you. Oh, Glad man, to have lady. A warm place to sleep myself. But I, I would have left the rest of these idiots to toughen up a little longer. <laughs> What's that? Uh, What's that? I have no idea. I don't know why you ask me like that. All right, so let's F5 this. And let's see. We have some ores down there, but to be honest, I'm not really too worried about them, guys. I think what we need to do is go get our gloves squared away, to be honest. So we're going to jump back to Raven Rock. A bit of jumping here. Uh, what's up? I've been looking for you. <laughs> Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the yard. You find me all the way out here. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks mm. like that's it. Got to go. I think it's just an invitation to the Greybeards or to his court, or it's a word wall. I'm not too worried about it. Is it this guy? Seeking passage to Windhelm? My ship's ready to sail. If you've brought enough gold. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Do we want... I feel like Hold we up. should do this back in Whiterun. 
because we'll have access to that one douchey wizard guy that's irritating. You know, that guy. Okay, and then from here, let's jump to, to Whiterun. Excellent. All right. I'm a little, oh, not a little. I'm quite worried about us getting outmatched because Wait, we're level nine, but I know you. not like very proficient with any kind of uh, DPS. Especially a ranged DPS. That would help us out tremendously. But that's not where we're at. Actually, let's go say hello to the Earl first because apparently I hadn't done You've that. You've done a great service for right. me and my city. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I okay. name you Meh. Thane of White Run. Meh. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Meh. I assign you Lydia as a person uh. as Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve Meh. as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to you think could you're clear my name. a rabble, now would we? That'd be good. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. I want Illith as a follower. I don't know defenses. if we can get that, though. We still have a city it to defend. It seems our enemies have nope. no end of yes, spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Well, Illith, you're kind of a badass, so I think you'll be okay. So there's a few things we're going to want to break down right away, right? All right. That's a pretty good enchantment there to know, as well as this. Excellent. All right, so now what we need... Unarmed strikes do one additional damage. So what I would like to see is... Uh, a much better soul gem. Um, it seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passion, so, so you wish to master the arcane arts. I wish for you to just give me what I want. <laughs> so it looks like the greater is going to be it, so we're going to buy both of those. I think we're going to be doing this dance a few times. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. I don't know about that, buddy. Actually, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend even just a little bit more. So now we're going to go smith ourselves a pair of steel gloves. Gauntlets. Steel gauntlets. I should get it right. Oh, God, Lydia, come on. The Jarl has appointed me to be... Lead the way. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, guys. It's not like I dislike Lydia for any particular reason other than I just think she's poorly written and they... I feel like they intentionally made her just a really irritating character and I don't know why. And I can't really put my finger you on it. You mercenary work? It might suit you. Have you? Maybe it'll suit you. The farmers are charging me double for the produce. Do you get to the cloud district? Yes. They're saying it's because oh, of this I'm trouble sorry. with the storm Exactly. Road patrols are cutting half. Yoink. All right. So what we're doing down here now is we're going to pick up a potion of fortify and chant. You look rather pale. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? I believe that's what I said, or something. Yeah. So we're going to pick this up, too. Um, well, that is too bad. She doesn't have one. Um, I don't think I can make one. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Yeah, I don't have... Ooh, hello. Hmm. 
Right. Yeah, I don't have um, I offer the right ingredients to, to make that potion, unfortunately. So now that we are done there. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms. <sighs> I don't remember these flowers being here in the original Skyrim. Were those there? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. All right. Oh, actually. One moment. Excellent. All right, so we're just gonna wind up purchasing materials to make steel gauntlets with. And I don't claim so to be the best blacksmith in white armor. What's that going to take? Steel. Man, steel is legendary. Yeah, All so you've said. Twenty and four. Gauntlets. Twenty and four. Okay, well we'll do the Nordic ones, and we're gonna need two iron ingot. All right, let's uh, let's make that happen. Have you met my father? The finest weapons and armor. All right. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. All right. Now we're going to need, I believe, one more steel ingot uh, to, to make them yourself? fine. Or deal some damage. All right. We'll also pick that up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Excellent. So everything is upgraded. The iron boots. I think we can just drop those. I think we actually actually stole them, so I think we'll never really be able to sell them. We'll just fl toss them on the deck here. Excellent. All right. Um, one twenty plus twenty one to one seventy six. <laughs> that is awesome. That's that twenty five percent bonus. Uh, so from here, we have two soul, two, two soul gems. God, words are hard. Ah. Let's hustle up to the enchanting altar once more. Nothing. Move, son. It's no fun getting pushed around all It's funny time. until I push you off of the landing into the water and then make a joke about how you pee your pants. I do miss having craftsmen available to pay for good enchants and things like that. Um, I do miss that. I feel like it probably helped a little bit. So it looks like we're going to wind up paying quite the premium to get unarmed uh, damage on some of these things. So this plus, nope. Here, let's pick the enchant first because the unarmed damage is gonna be most important. So there's three, that's good. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. My... That's a decent enchantment, but keep studying. You've only scratched the surface. You've only scratched the surface. Okay, and then we need... So what's the silver ring do for us? Is it just... Oh, that's one, huh? That's nice. So no matter what, it's just going to be one. So that's what we'll do. Um... So from the extra 10 points of damage gloves of the pugilist were giving us, guys, we took 10 and then we made it 
Oh, I should have named it something else. I'm going to sell that every time. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Ugh, okay. So we took the gloves of the pugilist. They gave us 10 damage. We broke them down, and now these are going to do... I think 21 damage. Oh, we'll double check the perk. Plus another 3, plus another 3 for the enchant is an additional 6 damage, plus whatever the perk for the gauntlet rating is so let's take a quick look at that right away heavy armor their armor rating and extra damage i think it's base which i think is if your heavy armor skill were one um and so i think that steel is like 10 let's just say 10 so if we add everything up we get 12 because we're khajiit um and then we get, let's see, let's look at apparel real quick. Another six for enchantments and then another 10. So 12, 6, 18, that's 28 um, damage per swing. So from here, guys, we'll continue to invest in the heavy armor tree. And then we will also uh, continue to invest in the... Uh, lightly invest in the unarmed or I'm sorry the one-handed uh, tree and guys I think this is gonna do it for us I think we're gonna call the video here from here I'm just gonna do a bunch of jumping back and getting us back in place so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did enjoy the episode please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe aren't you guys impressed I'm not even looking at the screen how cool is that right it's like dribbling a soccer ball without looking at it which I can also do I can also do that to children it's crazy <laughs> If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Maybe consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Patron of the Thank you for watching tomorrow. Fly a car on me, choose a kite. For more like on them, share and subscribe for more.